well, open pit barbecue let's sauce. Do it. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Nice. Dave, you're teasing me in my dream. I, we do need a barbecue sauce sponsor on the show, Ed, eventually. Oh, yeah. um, Stubbs, it's your, it's your boy Dave Rupert. Have I got something to show you? <laughs> Stubbs. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. I'd take Sweet Baby Ray's, too. But what I actually want to talk about today is the details of that arrangement. <laughs> No, but for sure, let's talk about details. Details yeah. are these, um, look at this HTML. You've seen this anymore. I'll bump it up for you. This is you one of my home. top five elements, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's great. They call it a disclosure widget sometimes because you get this freebie open closed action. And that is just damn useful on the web, I might mm -hmm. say, for all mm -hmm. sorts of reasons. So thank you, HTML, for providing us for this. Let me just drop some extra like bonus stupid styles in here. Um, this is, was a situation I faced the other day, so this will make an interesting podcast, right? Ooh, okay. You can add a background to a details, fine. You know, you can mm -hmm. style things. I just put a paragraph inside and style that, whatever. So there's yeah, nothing cool. interesting happening yet. It's just that's what we're going to work on. Good for business so right there. Yeah, that's That's good. number one. Let's copy it. We'll just leave that one in place and call this one number number two. And our mm -hmm. goal with number two is to push this to the other side over here, right? Okay. Yeah. So I would probably, let's just do it. We're doing it live. Two, um, the summary then, which is this part, the information mm -hmm. with the mm -hmm. time element, it, what, like display flex probably, display right? Display flex. And but the second do you do that, you lose the little dummy oh, dangle no. thing. So align items. Like we'll mess with it. Maybe we'll get there. And then what is it? Justify Just content, content space, space between. And didn't we talk about this the other day? Like you might as well put a gap anyway, because then just, just so they don't kiss. Perfect. No kissing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So that's kind of fine because I got I did what I wanted to do. I put that yeah. thing over there. But then like, should we just byo marker? I guess you want to do like marker. Yeah. Well, yeah. no. Let's or just B4 do it or something. Yeah. Well, let's try that. So the content then is what it's a we need like a right arrow banger uh and oh. rar just I don't know. yeah there you go okay yeah well. fine um cool mm. but that's oh that got weird didn't it yeah did that, it do that i would expect that to be in the flex but i'm also wrong a lot um yeah why isn't it in the flex well let's see is that because <laughs> i'm trying to think Oh, you put it on the you put it on the details. Sorry, that's on two. That's a two Summary. before. Yeah. Yes, yes, oh, yes. that's funny. And then that's not working very good, is it? So we'll say. Mm, yeah. Why don't we just say like summary time margin inline start auto or whatever. Mm hmm. And then kill, kill that space between. Yeah. Will that kick it? Yeah. That's cool, Feeling but good. the gap is a little heavy, maybe. Yeah. Um, fine. All right. Well, we got it. that kind of going. That's good. But now it's a we have a little bit more control over it, I guess, because um, I don't know. It's a, now it's a thing. It's one mm -hmm. of these. So we could say like I don't know, and open, which is and the open. attribute that gets on there, and then summary before I don't know, like transform, transform rotate, rotate, totate, <laughs> totato, totato. Yeah, we kick it. Oh, look at that. That's nice. And put a transition on it. Should we? Yeah, go in. Transition uh, 0 0.2. 0 0.2 uh, is your fave? 0.2 is the go-to. Uh, it, it kind of is, I have to say. I don't know where that came from exactly. Oh, that's satisfying, isn't it? Yeah. Aww. Flip that emoji, sure. Yeah. Oh, I like it. It's better than this one. Yeah. It's got more. I mean, well, I don't could, know if it's better, no, but you could pizza. easily draw. Do a piece of pizza. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I wish it was pointed the right way. I guess we could make it point the right way yeah, by yeah, default. Yeah, we gotta make it point the right way. Oh god, this is very important work that we do here. Yeah, so we, we, we it is good. We extended the, the video for about five minutes so that we could do this. Yeah, this is uncharted territory, people. Here, yeah, minutes. we're so close. Uh, hold on, there's probably some math because a pizza is like six slices. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah. Well, it's what oh, if it's you gotta, 69? You gotta put it, yeah. 69. <laughs> That's <amazing>. nice. Okay. <laughs> so, this is gonna be like what's oh, I forget exactly. Yeah, just open it. I don't even know. Uh oh, 
He hates us. Oh, you got to dig it. Dig. So yeah, close. sure, good enough, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a go. little. It's got to yeah. be a little janky. <laughs> Pizza details. <laughs> that's oh, the that's only amazing. one that matters, right? Like, yeah, that's it for the rest of the time. I know. Yeah. I don't know why even go on. We should just. Thanks everybody for watching. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Shop talk video is brought to you in part by Elastic. Please go to elastic.co slash shop talk. You know, their Elastic on conference just wrapped and you can watch all the videos for free there. That's worth doing. Another thing that's worth knowing, I think, about Elastic is that all of their code. And remember in the last video, we talked about how Elasticsearch, one of the ways that you might come across it or think about it is that Elk stack, which is Elasticsearch as the data store and then Kibana for, uh, you know, making dashboards and, you know, playing with your data and having it be useful to you in a way. And then Logstash for like sucking in data and transforming it and all that. All those things are open source and literally free. So this page that uh, ElasticCO.ShopTalk is bringing you to uh, is a home base for that kind of putting a point on it. And look, there's a link to public repositories right here, literally right on GitHub. So Elasticsearch, I mean, if you don't like, eh, sure, theoretically it's open source. It's like, no, it's really open source. It's just sitting there uh, right on GitHub. Elasticsearch and Kibana and Logstash, that's the Elk stack. Remember, Beats is a part of it too. So if you want to see the code, pull the code, use the code, deploy the code, use do anything for your own purposes, there it is, free and open for you to use. Thanks, Elasticsearch, for the support. Well, that's that is maybe our <laughs> finest work. We'll screw around a little while longer, though. For for the people that uh, one thing that occurs to me is that you don't get the like clickable. So some part of me thinks you should go cursor pointer. How do you feel about that? Is that I? So yeah, I mean, there's some you get the clickable. I've heard I've heard both on on the accessibility fronts. You know, because like. You know, you're actually, you don't get the pointer finger on like radio buttons and stuff like that. But I feel like it makes such a difference. I feel like to even to a sighted user or whatever, it's like, but, but maybe, yeah. you know, it makes such a like, Ooh, that's, I'm going to put my finger on that. That's my finger click, you know? So, yeah. See, that's a good look right there with the marker styling though. Yeah. Remember we were playing with accent color at this this doesn't actually work. You have to just do color. <laughs> that screwed us up the other day. So I'm glad yeah. I remembered that. Um, okay, so pink. But then if you go pink and then you still want to move the time over, like I can't. Like I, I can't even display grid. That'll kill it. Mm. Isn't that weird? Yeah. So yeah. like if I want marker to work, I cannot display flex. So one thing I've t d have had to do this in the past once. It's not like this is like I do this all the time div just rock a div in the summary mm -hmm. fine and then you can go like and div because th that's that's the only way i get to keep the pinky because I, I can't display flex here but i can display flex here mm -hmm. and then what do the do the time thing with the margin inline start auto yeah stuff yeah we got to do the kissy just because i can't can't not do it now that you know you can prevent it it's so important to yeah and this this there's only there's only two elements in there so the gap is easier to deal with but now what so now i have to go like pause rel and probably like pause abs top zero mm -hmm. left and then give it room for the spacing maybe hmm and then like width or you'd have to go left I don't think zero, you do anything. left zero, to get it to go all the way. Or why? sorry, right zero, right zero. Oh, the, but the time should just go. Why isn't this? Why isn't this as wide the as flex? Isn't going full width now that it's absolute position, right? And I, you can't say a hundred percent because it's too. That's too that's far. Too then. That's too much hundred. <laughs> oh yeah, minus one rim. Yeah, bingo, bingo. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, we colored a marker, and just because we wanted a hot pink marker, we had to do all this garbage. See, there seems like there's a better way, but I don't know what it is offhand, right? There seems like a... No? No, it's not, huh? Mm, uh, is there? I mean... I don't think so. You can't use just any display thing. I, and why does it just disappear? Like, can we investigate that for one second before we kill mm -hmm. this thing? 
like here's the marker right if i go display grid is the marker still there or does it like get gone it got it's, gone it got gone like why does it get gone is that a hmm. user agent style sheet thing or what yeah go see down here what's the uh does the in the side the styles all oh, the computed styles you mean or something or like uh i don't even know how to start looking really you know or maybe you start with the oh yeah that's so weird that it would just like once there's a oh. non once there's a non block context for summary what did I do it just thing? goes away i really screwed this thing up yeah you oh it's just this i guess it, yeah and absolute yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I guess you're right. If we we could look and see w how the marker is styled now, like this marker, where mm -hmm. does it come from? Oh, the user agent style sheet. So if we could look at the styles like surrounding this in the user agent style sheet, it might have some clues. But I don't know yeah. that it will exactly because yeah, you well, can't write really. you can't write a style that's like. Oh, there's a shadow grid root that just showed up. What's that shadow? Root? Oh. Oh, details just automatically have a shadow root. Hmm. Okay. In Chrome, anyway. I don't What's know that, that they do in Firefox. Box? It's in What's implement. In that style? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's a displayed line item? List item. <laughs> oh, list item. Okay. Why is it so that list? makes sense. Because oh, it is, list it items a have a marker, yeah. and markers are how you. Style oh, if it's list not item. a list anymore. Okay. So it does kind of make sense. If you wipe out its. If it, it's no longer. Yeah, I get it. So it's not even display grid or flex. It's display anything. If yeah, this was display, display inline block, it would still die because it's a, not a list item anymore. Oh, wow. I feel so much better. Solve the mystery yes, of the, the disappearing marker. Uh, thanks, Encyclopedia Brown. That's an old callback. <laughs> Kids don't read that book anymore. So if you're born after... I remember it. I'll remember it. This is, this is it. There was a... An Encyclopedia Brown, and he, this this kid had a sword, and it was inscribed World War One. And Encyclopedia Brown was so smart that he was like, in World War One, they didn't know it was World War One, so they wouldn't have inscribed it World War One. They would have inscribed it something else. I don't know what what did they call World War? The Great War. The Great, the Great War. War yeah. Anyway, that's all I remember about Encyclopedia Brown. He's a smart smarty pants. Wow. Okay. Well. Today I learned those mm -hmm. are summaries are list items. You want to know something else I know about list items? What? Uh, they are, or details. Like, it's a really complex element. And, and it's cool because it's like an interactive element. But the, um, yeah. so there's semantics around there. And different screen readers will announce it differently. Um, okay. Some announce it as a button, the summary element as a button. And some announce it even as a summary, but a button. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting is, like, if you put an H, a heading, into a button. Or yeah, we talked about that before. The H3 gets wiped out because you can't put a header in a button. Right? You can't put headings in buttons. And that, so that's like a big bummer for like building like an accordion on your page, right? Yeah. Uh, that said, you know, if you have an accordion that maybe isn't necessarily heading sensitive or like a sidebar y kind of deal, maybe details like works out great. Um, would you use like an H3 in there anyway, knowing that semantically it's going to get wiped out or is that like an anti-pattern? Should you just put like, just style the summary itself to look like a header? If you I, I would probably just style like summary class H3. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably. Um, just cause I know it's going to be eaten up, but, um, I don't know. There's, yeah, there's maybe other solutions here in the future that might work. Wink. Um, so <laughs> oh, stay yeah. tuned. Like and subscribe. Hit like that and bell. subscribe. Hit that bell because uh, we might have another episode about that. But but okay. no, there there's some. Yeah, it's a complex problem just with like semantics, and you think like whatever. It's just a bunch of divs and spans. But these divs and spans and like these summaries and these details. It does feel like one that actually things. matters. Like remember we just were talking about subgrid, and it's like you can wipe out the semantics with display contents or whatever. But sometimes it actually doesn't matter. I would say it does matter if you put an H3 on your page and expect it to work like a header, and all of a sudden it doesn't. That it's like, like why did our actually. SEO tank? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dave Rupert decided to use details yeah. elements everywhere you know but <laughs> could it's be true problem. though it would so it would. yeah well that's cool that was a good investigation and we invented we figured out the mystery we solved the mystery we 
made the best pizza marker ever in the world. Mm -hmm. And yeah, pizza details. Now it makes me feel like the proper, like a proper code penner would, would make like investigate 50 other emojis that worked. Like, can you make the moon rotate into a waning moon? And you know, Mm. you gotta do like emoji toggles. Anyway, I'll just put a link to that in the show notes, but for now, Dave, we better wrap it up. Thank you.